Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and um, we learn of a new flaw in Intel CPUs. Now, if you remember, there were several flaws that were discovered over the past few years. Uh, it all started with the uh, first series of major flaws that were discovered a couple of years ago and um, several years ago in uh, the uh, CPUs, where like every CPU almost ever made was vulnerable to um, some attack and some sensitive data leaks. Uh, and uh, now we learned that if your computer is running a uh, CPU, an Intel CPU, there's a new flaw that is discovered now. Mine's an AMD Ryzen. From what I understand, they are not vulnerable to this, but if you are, are of course, on an Intel, it uh, is a flaw called the Branch Privilege Injection. This is in all modern Intel CPUs, and it allows attackers to basically leak sensitive data. And uh, the thing is, it has to do with very specific modules uh, and the CPU and the way they work. Um, one is a branch predictor um, like the branch target buffer, and there's an indirect branch predictor, specialized uh, hardware. What they do is they do a prediction. Basically, part of your CPU works in direct, um, you know, calculations. It will actually use all the, the, the data that goes into it and have an output, have a result. But to make things faster in CPUs, there's also what we call branch prediction, which is because of what I just saw, I think the result is this. And by speculating that that will be the case, if it turns out correct, it speeds up the speed of your CPU. So what it does is it will think this must be the case, but it won't actually act on it. It will wait till the official result to push it, to make sure that they match. And even though they're waiting for the official result, it, it still makes everything faster because the computer, the CPU, has already taken kind of an advance of, okay, well, if the result is this, this is how we'll deal with it. Um, so um, it already knows how to deal with it before uh, the result arrives. So that actually has a flaw. There's an impact there where a uh, affected um, processor and, and basically they are Intel ninth generation and later processors that have this. Uh, but there also is a bypass capability on seventh generation and later. And what it does is um, it is possible to bypass this and to actually leak data uh, from that area, from sensitive, from actually exclusive memory that is used for this. And uh, from the uh, observations, the AMD processors do not exhibit this uh, behavior. So they are probably not affected by this. Uh, now, the only thing that will happen is that there will, of course, the risk is not very high in this uh, in this security flaw, and this is probably going to be fixed through a BIOS or a microcode update in the uh, processor uh, with the processor itself. So there will be probably either BIOS updates that will fix that. And there will be uh, maybe Windows updates for microcode that actually deal with the CPU itself. So uh, interesting. They are finding new stuff all the time now on CPUs that for a long time were not really, we didn't, we didn't think they were much vulnerable to anything. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.